Gen Friends. I'm your host, Sherry Hudson Passy from Carolina Girl Genealogy, and we have got a great, great um, discussion ahead for you. But first of all, let me let me talk to you about our our panel that's here tonight. We've got Melissa Barker, our archive lady. Hi, Melissa. Hi, everybody. Glad to be here. So glad you're here. Jenny, I'm going to introduce you last because you're going to lead us in this discussion. Okay. <laughs> We've got Laura Hedgecock and friend. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura, introduce is, us to your friend. This oh. is our puppy Penny, and we have had her for six days. Oh, and she's she very was. sweet. She's Aww. so cute. So she's going to be part of the panel tonight. <laughs> so what kind of dog is she? She's a Springer Spaniel. So sweet. She's oh, hello, so sweet. Penny. Yeah, hello, Penny. Penny, you couldn't have made it into a better family. You were so loved. <laughs> she's even, uh, we've got Shelly. That's a big puppy, though. <laughs> she yeah, she's big. nine and a half months old. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, that explains it. We've got Shelly Murphy, our family tree girl. Hello, Shelly. Good evening, everybody. Glad to be here. I'm glad you're I'm here. I'm excited about tonight. I love you too. I am too. We've got Mary Kircher Roddy, and she, you know, we're from um, MKR Genealogy and the Applied Genealogical Institute. <laughs> and I said that without any notes. <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and so we're glad you're here too, Mary. You and your quilt. We're glad nice you're here. here. Well. Yes. <laughs> and we've got Jenny Haran, and she's from like Herding Cats Genealogy. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Nice to see everyone. <laughs> I'm glad you're here because you were going to talk to us about a project that you just got uh, done working with and you you went and cleaned up a cemetery and I was thinking and did probably a lot more than just cleaning it up but I was thinking you know there are so many genealogical and historical societies that are looking for projects to do you know what what can we do as a group instead of just sitting there having presentations every month what can we get out in our community to do and so I really wanted to talk to you about what you did how it got planned and everything that you did so take it away Jenny <laughs> tell us All about right. it. some questions right. <laughs> yeah so I I spent uh, a great day in the cemetery and uh, as most genealogists <laughs> love to do and the project actually um, was my local um, chap DAR chapter the Abigail oh, Wolcott nice. Ellsworth chapter um, has been working with the cemetery on actually several projects. And um, so we were, the first project we started with was doing the find a grave project. So we went, this cemetery, it is, is called the Palisado Cemetery in Windsor, Connecticut. And Windsor is the um, oldest uh, settlement, the first town in Connecticut. So oh. we have gravestones back there to the oldest one we have is 1644. Oh, wow. um because Windsor wow. was settled in 1633 so it's a very beloved historic um yeah. place and so we started with a find a grave project where um our chapter um decided to take the find a grave um list of what still needed to be taken and walked the so there's about 5,000 stones it's a so it's a mid-size cemetery it's not e enormous 5,000 sounds like a lot but it really it does isn't. yeah yeah and yeah, so we started uh, to find a grave. Well, depending on how many had already been found, you're true. not 5,000. That is enormous. <laughs> but but we also <laughs> wanted to do, we wanted to make sure that the list that existed through the Boy Scouts did, did mm -hmm. something that was accurate and it ended up not being so accurate. But anyway, oh. so this was a project for like over two years ago that we started and we would go and we photograph all the, the stones mm -hmm. and upload them to find a grave. And um, we also did a digital mapping project which is a whole nother show in itself but um so so anyway so we were connected to this you know it's in our town it's historic um you know DAR is all about preservation and, right. and conservation and, and all that so we um so we heard about this thing called the 48 state tour and it's from a company um called um, Atlas Preservation who happened to be here in Connecticut and, um, but they travel all over giving um, grave cleaning and preservation workshops, day long workshops for free, for free oh, for I'll, organizations. I'll have to put their link on then. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. I'll, I can, I can send you the yeah. link. Um, so they just finished up um, the tour. Uh, we were the last ones on the tour because they are in Connecticut. They sort of did a, you know, a loop gotcha. all the way around and we're the <laughs> last ones. And um, so, but they do go, like I said, they do go to uh, every state and 
so what they do, it's a, it's day, it's a day long thing. It starts at nine in the morning and we had about 50 people there. I have a couple pictures I can show you um, when we're done talking, but yeah. um, uh, we had about 50 people there and not just our chapter members. It was, we got the word out through the community um, because we wanted, um, we want, we wanted our community to know about it. So we partnered also with like our local historical society right? Um, yeah. and we kind of, we put the word out to the public and advertised it on our social media. And so, so the people that were there were not just from our chapter and, um, and people were really excited because they said, Oh, I've always wanted to do this. And I just didn't uh, know how to do it. And yes. I don't want to do it, do it wrong. Cause I think right. we had some case in Connecticut a couple of years ago where it was done very, very wrong in some other uh, part of the state Gosh. and, and the stones were, were ruined. And oh. um, so people are, you know, are definitely mm -hmm. aware of that. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, so it started, um, so John Appel is the um, uh, the uh, owner of this Atlas Preservation, and he's known, I guess, I didn't know this until then, he's known, like, as an expert in preservation, he's a, he, he's uh, got a science background and engineer back, engineering background and everything, so he started this company, they do sell products, you know, so it's, yeah. you know, it's a yeah. full-up business, so, <laughs> yeah. But, but, but so he can't, he comes in the morning and you, um, he's already done a little pre walk around the cemetery to kind of st have stones in his head that he can mm -hmm. point out. We do a little walk around. Um, and, uh, he, but what's amazing is, so he, he knows the history of every cemetery that he goes to. He doesn't do oh. these until he's done his research. Oh, wow. So he's talking about, um, the history of the cemetery, which is great, but he's also talking about the history of um, the carvers, the, you know, who the artistic oh. um, people who have, you know, who were the famous car yeah. carvers in oh, Connecticut in the 1600s. Yes. And, and he can tell, because he's an expert, he can say, I can tell you right now who did that because of, you know, this, he points out all the particulars. Yeah, that's so it's fascinating. Cool. Yeah. And he's also, what's fascinating is, I mean, it's pretty logical when you think about it, but you know, every state is different. We all have different yes. soil. We all have different yes. weather and yes. how our gravestones are, what they're made of depends mm -hmm. on where you live. Yeah. And, you know, so in Connecticut, we, our gravestones are not, there's no slate, you know, gravestones. Yeah. That's not something that, you know, really existed, you know, no quarries or anything like right. that, yeah. but we have sandstone and brownstone are big in Connecticut yeah. and mm -hmm. a lot of our, and marble, but but sandstone was the the go to, and um, wow. so a lot of ours are are sandstone. So he was talking about like all the different, you know, the reason why. And he got he got a little too deep sometimes into the, the, <laughs> the soil. When he started talking about the soil, I'm like, oh my god, is this gonna? How is this gonna go? But yeah. then he got real, you know. But he just is so into it, wanting to yeah. you know let you know. Um. So he so he's telling he's talking about that, and he's talking about the history of the shape of the stones. If you are uh, had a little bit more money. Mm -hmm. um, it's not necessarily the size, but it is the the um, the carvings oh, on sure. it. You, you know, yeah. so you can tell all those telltale signs. And again, yeah. we're talking back to the 1600s in uh -huh. this case. So that was like the first part of it, and that's like a good hour, and it was really, really, really informative. Um, and you know, interactive. You know, asking mm -hmm. questions. And um, then um, the second part is the demonstration. So he does. Um, and he's got a crew with him. He's got a couple of people with him. Um, but he does a demonstration on cleaning, um, oh, cleaning a gravestone. Nice. Yeah. So he does that. Um, you know, he's he's already again, he's already walked around and kind of picked out some, one he that really needs it. The ones that are yeah. really dirty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so he talks about the chemicals he uses. He's yeah. uh, a big D2 guy, and you know, oh, D2 okay. is is yeah. Yeah, I have a question about that. I see on the yeah. website they sell that. And did you see yeah. it work? Atlas. Yes. Yeah. Did I see it work? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Just, you know, and, and he was explaining, which, I mean, if you know about D2, I guess it continues to work. Um, when you spray it on, you know, a, a gravestone, it, mm -hmm. it, um, it's, you can see immediate react, immediate reaction and immediate yeah. results, but you could come back in a year and it could even be better, brighter, oh, wow. you know? Oh, wow. um, it, yeah. It's like, again, I'm not a chemist, so I don't, there's, there's a reason <laughs> for that. 
Yeah. So there's a reason, especially in Connecticut stones, it can mm-hmm. get into because all stones are porous, I guess, right. you know, anyway. Yeah. But um, but yeah, so he was talking about D2. So he what he, he has, he has the the D2 there, he has all the uh, the brushes, he talks about why you should use certain soft mm-hmm. brushes. Um, you know, uh talked about like little bamboo shoots that you know to get inside the letters. Oh, okay. Um, but obviously gentle gentle yeah. um he told us about you know some he says d2 is safe for every stone he okay. said that's what he said and i you know don't have any reason to not believe him um but <laughs> but he said that it's safe he said but there's sometimes that you just shouldn't you shouldn't be messing with a stone you know if there's stone it is damaged mm-hmm. you shouldn't be spraying it and scrubbing it with a with a yeah. you know a brush because um you know, a, a conservationist should be coming in and, and, you know, if, if it yeah. can be fixed for whatever yeah. reason, but so that was, so it was really cool. He gave the mm-hmm. whole demonstration. Um, and we, um, he chose, uh, he it was, always a, it was a marble one, I think, um, that he chose, but it had a lot of liked in that green yeah. stuff, yeah. you know, yeah. that, <laughs> that goes on it and yeah. he let it sit, you know, he sprayed it. He let it sit for like 10 minutes. He, and then he was talking about some other things. He went uh-huh. back and then he sprayed raise it with some water and gently he's also got like a, a plastic mm-hmm. like really cheap plastic you know scraper and yeah. he's scraping off the lichen and um the lichen and then he um had a soft brush and he was cleaning it and then he was rinsing it off we were all like ooh, it was very satisfying you know yeah he does stuff so, now <laughs> So that was really fun. And then he said, okay, he said, who wants to give it a try? So, I mean, again, there's like about 50 of us there. So not all 50 of us wanted to do it necessarily, but I mean, a good amount, you know, so it was like another half hour of people going, picking out a stone and we had permission. You really, that's one thing you said, you don't just walk into a cemetery and start doing that. You need to get proper permission. um, But is it proper permission from the cemetery or from the families? So, so that's a good question because that that went through my mind. What if it's your family stone? And well, that's the thing. So somebody asked him that and he said, that's a really good question. And he said, and there's, there's people that think they're right with both answers, you know, Ah, and he said, we always go to the cemetery and, um, you know, and ask permission and, but you know, could a family member say, Hey, I didn't want you to clean that. Yeah. You know, so how do you track down a family member? You know, so it's. Yeah, it's kind of unless it's your family plot, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Except how many people's families is that plot? Yeah. Well, you know, like my grandmother paid a plot usually and, so it, plot. and yeah, the but... stones get dirty. I mean they're they're newer stones, but they get dirty. But my um I was thinking that the VA will come in and clean in, yeah. in this one cemetery that I know. Because there was one that was, I mean, I, I was always grateful that I had taken a picture of it years ago because I could read it. And then it got to a point where I always stopped by because I don't know anything. I can't find information about this man. And every time I leave the cemetery, I go, hello, <laughs> you haven't said anything. I need more. I always stop by and visit him and have a little discussion. But I noticed the last time I went because it had gotten so just dark that somebody had come in and put a flag because he's a he's a World War One veteran somebody have to put the flag there and the stone was bright again and you could read it and I was like oh so I guess they do you know somebody cleaned it so I probably need to go into the office the office wasn't open that day where I was there I need to go in and say what do they use what do they do (laughs) so yeah you know that's that's the unfortunately somebody could go in and do something bad to your stone too you know you don't have control right and I think that's my permission from whoever yeah, Nate, yeah. So, probably yeah. I would I would think maybe the cemetery owner at least let them know that you're in there and what you're doing and what you're definitely, using definitely, so they don't call definitely. the cops I know veterans <laughs> groups that go in yeah and clean the veterans yeah that's, I who, that's who did, did this it, one but yeah I said, but I know veterans groups yeah. go in yeah and um, up in Michigan as a matter of fact there's a uh, a guy that's done hundreds and yeah. hundreds yeah we met that guy at roots tech one year did you that's very yeah. cool that's very cool yeah, yeah you I met would... some this guy this guy there there's um company k 
which is total Native American out of Michigan huh. and and the company K. And if you just because it just left my head, um, I'm <laughs> sitting here. Is it World War Two? Is it World War One? Ashley and I have the, a book yeah, on them, but it's Company K. Huh. And it's all Native American up there in Michigan. And one of the descendants, who's a retired cop, um, goes from cemetery to cemetery oh, to cemetery. Nice. I does, love when people does, do things does like that. exactly yeah, what no. she was ex that yeah. cleaning. And and so yeah. donations are to buy that cleaning stuff. Uh, that, so you yeah, know, that helps that, them. That, that yeah, would make sense. Jenny, have, I have right. a question for you before we move on because I'll forget my question. You know me. So when we first started out, you had said the Boy Scouts had made a listing in the cemetery, but you found out it wasn't quite right. And I think that's a really good point because sometimes we will get those cemetery books. We will just think that they're, you know, this is who's buried there and this is all the information. And sometimes they're not right. And so I think it's really important to make sure you, you still go in person. It's just like with any other document, you need to get the original, which is you in that cemetery or somebody else that can have eyes on that cemetery and take a photo or whatever so you get the right information. I've got one cemetery book that tries to tell me when one of my ancestors died. But it does it just says he wrote it in there. There's no stone. There's no church records extant, but he wrote it in. I'm like, who is this man and how does he know? But right. further re research showed me he was he hadn't died because he was still living in the next census. I'm like Okay, <laughs> but where did the information come from? So that's right. it's really a good point to to make yeah. sure we check that kind of information. Those lists, yeah. it's a good clue. Absolutely. But that's have anybody sure. that would have done that, not just Boy Scouts, yeah. girls. Yeah, Scouts, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's easy everybody. to it's easy to misread a stone. Mary, were you yeah. going to say something? Yeah, I have a question um, about, and maybe you'll be talking about it, Jenny, about the project. Um, you you said you had the family or the the Boy Scouts list. Um, one of the things, and I absolutely no knock against find a grave. I love find a grave. <laughs> um, but all the graves are in isolation. Yeah. And it is so important to see the relationships. Yes. With graves. Absolutely. With other graves. Is that something that you guys, you said you were working on some sort of location thing or whatever. Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah, yeah, we did that. And we felt the same way, actually, about that, that we wanted to do a, an overview, like a digital, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a digital map is what it is. It's actually right. a search engine that we just, um, that, that just went live. And so if you have somebody in that cemetery, it's, it's really great, because you can put their name in there, it'll zoom in. Uh, it's like it's 3D, it'll zoom in just like a Google map, wow. like street, street view. And you can see their stone, but you can see the stones that are around them. Oh, you can also get a little, it, it's also transcribed because one of the projects that we did was besides taking pictures, we transcribed yeah. uh, the stone as best we could. Yeah. And so that's all in the database too, because that is so cool. you're right. Hi, Mary. Did, did you correlate that with any other things? Because one of the things um, I talk about in some of my presentations is you think that the gravestone is the primary record there or primary source and and the best yeah um but a transcription that the dar did in the 1930s when that stone was legible exactly is probably even though it's a derivative source yes. is a better thing than going today so right. That's did you true. correlate that with yeah. any Very true. Um, yes. uh, other sources. Yes, yeah. because, well, on the flip side of the Boy Scouts, maybe not doing, you know, ma making some mistakes. They also, um, even just 20 years ago when they did it, they captured things that aren't there anymore. Yes. The stones uh, that had sunk and weren't there. Yes. And, the DA, and my DAR chapter back in like, I think the thirties actually started mapping that out. And again, there's the ones that don't yeah. exist anymore. Yeah. Thank goodness. DAR exactly had, yeah you know had taken photos yeah. or had transcribed because like you said right. you can't read them now so right. yeah yeah I that's the it's, one time and two they're not of, always the sorry go ahead Mary. times that's one of the main times really where a derivative yes. source is very often the best source exactly that you're yes. gonna I, agree with you. I agree with you and then we also need to know too that a headstone doesn't always write <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what I've got to say. yes I've got a big mistake right. and my great 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 grandfathers 
Um, and and I, I figured out, I, I went to the funeral home records. I could prove when he really died. It was just a, a mistake. It was a, It's a new stone. So the original stone's not there anymore. So somehow when they created the new stone, they said he was born, I mean, died on the 19th and he died on the 9th. And so, you know, I've got the obituary. His, We have no idea what happened to his death record. There's a bunch of them missing from that time period. But so I get people all the time that send me, oh, you've got the wrong date on your information. Can you see his headstone says this? And so I wrote out, you know, my my little piece of information about why that's not correct. And I just have it on my trees now or I'll just send it to them, you know, my my um. So where I took that conflicting information and just wrote it up and said, this was wrong and this is why it's wrong. But anyway, I just want to throw that out there. And Laura, you were going to say the same thing. Yeah, Matt's great grandfather, the grave says hedge cook instead of hedge cook. <laughs> oh, no. yep. And we don't know why no one had it corrected. I mean, I'm pretty sure if money, probably money. Yep. Wrong, I'm not going to say money. Expensive. Yeah. That's what we think, but yeah. so apparently, if the engraver got it wrong, he wouldn't fix his mistake. I don't yeah, know, but probably not. I so couldn't read been, your writing. Yeah, yeah so he has some off. kind of excuse. Exactly, like Mary said. Well, this is what your writing looked like. <laughs> so I did. Yeah, so could fun. that person? Could that person also have went by head cook? cook? No, he was no? Hedgecock. <laughs> we, I mean, everything else in his life was Hedgecock, and okay. that's. Okay. Grandfather remembered him and stuff like oh, that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And his father was also Bert Hedgecock. So I okay. Mean, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So we're sure it was a mistake, but um, we all the stone the guy, <laughs> the person. Choose yeah, a maybe they thought, day. well, it'll be covered with lichen in a few years. And nobody, <laughs> yeah. will know. nobody will know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but yeah, and he's not here to complain, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, and, and I so think that too was... his immediate family were were living elsewhere. So because he oh. moved to Colorado for his health. Yeah, so, so they did, they probably didn't even know for years that it was wrong. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, but I, what I really loved ahead, about Jenny. the day, yeah, what I really loved about the day was, um, you know, that demonstration and that hands on because you you yeah. felt safe, like you know, after after spending the morning with him and it, all his knowledge and all right. his science and everything else. Yeah. You felt like, okay, I, this is a really good opportunity for me to practice here in front of, you know, yes. with, with the experts, but then they went on in the afternoon, they went on to, um, uh, the restoration work because that's uh -huh. a big part of what John does. He's, you know, very well known for it, I guess. And so they, um, so he was doing a whole demonstration of, um, a lot of sunken stones uh, and yes. this cemetery in particular, certain parts have a lot of like just footstones or they call mm -hmm. footstones just mm -hmm. footstones mm -hmm. and those sink you know those yeah. end up sinking and getting right. almost you know swallowed up by the yeah. earth you know yeah um and and this, this cemetery as far as you know many other cemeteries that i've seen is in very good condition is taken very good care of not like mm -hmm. you know there's some others yeah. that i've seen that are just horrifying how right. you know toppled over but there yeah. are some that are because they're so old, yes. they are, um, and they'll topple you know, over and break. And that's what's so sad too. Yeah. Or they're leaning. There's a lot of leaning yes. going on in, in the cemetery <laughs> and because of the, because of the soil Sure. and he's like, you know, what's going to happen is it's, it's going to fall over and it's going to break. And this oh, is yeah, from like right. the 1700s kind of thing. Yeah. So he was showing how to do that. Um, I, um, I ended up not being able to stay for the entire part of what he was mm -hmm. doing because I had, it was covering some other things that was happening that day, but, yeah. but I was, um, but he does it, you know, the right way. I mean, he's, he's digging, he's pouring soil and rocks and everything oh, like wow. that. And, and it was just, it was amazing. And, and the, the thing is he wants to em empower people mm -hmm. to, to preserve. He's all about preservation and saving yes. these old stones and everything. Mm -hmm. And he's just so, adamant about if you're going to do it at least do it right, do you, it know? right. you know what I'm saying like absolutely you know, people are going to go and try to do it and say oh I know how to do this and I'm going to put some like glue and it's going to be and he's like just just you know I'll come Not to your much. state I'll <laughs> exactly. come to your state and show you the basics you know obviously uh -huh. bigger project you know but the basics of putting a stone you know lift, yeah. lifting a stone up you know yeah. putting it back on the on the base right. um but so it was these... just yeah I'm sorry, I was just gonna say a lot of these stones too. Yes, it's it's um somebody's family is their information, but some of them are it's like artwork. 
They're mm -hmm. so beautiful. And you mm -hmm. want to preserve mm -hmm. that artwork for the, you know, the, the, the membership the of something. Well, Marty. yeah. And the, and the, and the, the people yeah. that carved it, I mean, that's their work, yeah. you know, so right. you want to, you want to save that as well. And any other engravings, like you said, Shelly, that are on. Yeah. yeah. There's markings of everything they could be in yeah. and watching something the other day, the GAR. Yeah. You know, and, um, and all the Grand little Army symbols the mean something. Symbol. Yeah. 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 All yeah. the symbols mean something that can help you understand yeah. maybe a person's Masons, personality or right. what clubs they belong to yeah. or what the family felt. We've yeah. got some stones in the Quaker Cemetery in Camden, South Carolina. It's probably some, and it's not a Quaker, it used to be a Quaker Cemetery, but they've kept that name to honor um, the first members. But they're, they're the ones that have the big slab across the top and it's brick. And it tells their whole life story. Of course, none oh of those my are my God. family, where they came from, who their children were, you know, you know, where they immigrated from. I'm like, why isn't that my you family? You know what? I got I wonder if where my people are buried at and in, in never know. But like I said, they're not they're yeah. they're the earlier stones are were Quakers, but then the city bought the cemetery and it's just it's really just a city cemetery, but they've honored that name. Laura. Yeah, so speaking of Quaker cemeteries, um, in defense of the Boy Scouts. <laughs> Boy Scouts. No, we're not just saying no, no, yeah, <laughs> make sure we clear that so, up so there's no feedback. No, I get it, but so I don't know how many partners my local genealogical society had because it was when I was first joining. But what they did was they partnered with historical societies and preservationists in this old Quaker cemetery. And oh. these were some of the um, early abolitionists that settled in oh, our area. Wow. So yeah. it was cool. very historically important to show mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. community where this history came from. Mm -hmm. And it's really the heart. <clears throat> and what they did was they partnered with the Boy Scouts to clear brush and they did yes. everything under supervision. And they did yeah. then what you're talking about, Jenny, like the, the easier ones that mm -hmm. you could do yeah. to fix right. and stuff. And but I thought that was so wise because you get young people involved yes. in between the past. Exactly. And also every time they take a drive by. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I did that. I, I cleaned that, that cemetery. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. It gives them a tie to the community and to history and everything else. And and who knows, they may have some of them may have had family. If they start doing research, they might find that they're connected to some of those people, which would be well, really and cool it is too. really interesting when you go, we have so Obviously, I'm a cemetery geek. I mean, just go to all? cemeteries. <laughs> I have nobody dead here. Yeah. But <laughs> I like but, looking at the stones, Laura. Don't feel oh bad. God, I have yes, nothing dead and here. <laughs> I realize why we have roads that are you know, road names. I'm like, oh, so the town, oh, the Wixom. Yes. Wixom was named after yes. these people. Oh, the powers, yeah. they were pioneers. And yeah, exactly. realize then. The, yep. the roots of the city, yeah, the names yep. and everything that exactly. you see in the city and never really yeah. think about. Yeah. Right? It's just a road name. And then when you go visit the cemeteries, you yeah. see, oh, this was a whole family. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I've got a couple pictures I can Yeah, I was just going to say, Jenny, oh, it's been great. Yeah. I'd love um, to see and you should see. have the power to share. All right. See. We'll see. I just never know. Um, I'm doing it right because I have two <laughs> I have two screens so I I've always like can you see it can you see it uh yeah, let's try okay that. we all do that we all say can you see it oh yeah we can see it yeah the big yeah the big ones like that oh my gosh oh, that's, that's right on the gorgeous. side wow yeah, that's hold on, hold beautiful on. And, down. and here just... lieth so, uh, oh yes that's 16 1700 uh, what a cute picture so yeah. with me, um, and so that was, um, look at this guy sitting on the, uh, can you see the guy Is sitting on the, Mark he got yelled at. Screen? There's something on my screen, there's something like a Mine rectangle. Oh, Do you guys see like that? A, Just, yeah. I got a rectangle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that is. Um, I see it too. Hmm. You've got a trail of them up on the left hand corner. Oh, and, me too. And over yeah. in the yeah, right. squares. Yeah, start right. sharing and then try again and see what happens. Yeah, it showed up in a little box over in the right. Yeah, yeah. The right so just, yeah. All right, I'll try. come back in again. Hey, I don't know. Hold on. Um, that was weird. I thought it was just me, but I thought well, that's not good because I'm the one. Well, who you can still see the guy sitting on the stone, and even up if in it the does reappear. In the middle. Yeah. 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 Anything? 
not yet. Oh, so now we're we seeing your now we're seeing your um collection. <laughs> your yeah, your file collection. Okay, yeah, yeah. hold on. Thank you, hold thank on. you, Mary. <laughs> yeah. So, so the first picture is the one. Yeah, there we go. How's that? Oh, that's and they're good. gone. I love, I love Those the are definitely of 16, 17. Yeah, yep. yeah, exactly. I love the shape. And, 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 you know, you look at that and we've got some um, in a cemetery where they've got gates around them and it's mm -hmm. like, it's like some kind of haunted mansion. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? But, but what I was saying with, with this, yeah. with this one, see this, this gentleman sitting here, He's on, sitting on it. it. he got yelled at, um, but oh, okay. on that. And he felt terrible. He's like, I don't know what I was thinking. He goes, I just, you know, it doesn't, yeah. it, you can't, it's, it's so um, clean. Like you can't see any writing on it. You can't see, yeah. but he goes, he felt awful about it. But um, you know, you yeah. have to, you have to respect obviously when you're, you know, exactly. when you're in there. You got to remember um, where you are. Mm -hmm. Right. Those so are these beautiful. are a lot of the brownstone and sandstone um, uh -huh. that, that are in there. And you can see that some of them are starting to, to lean. Yeah. Um, this is some yes. of the art, the carvings. And, oh my um, gosh, those are gorgeous. This was 1798, but yeah. you can still, they're in really good. They've been very well taken care of. You can yeah. still read so yeah. many of them. Wow. Um, you know, there's another lean, but I mean, just the artwork on top is just, mm -hmm. it was just fascinating. This one here is the oldest, um, Reverend, uh, Ephraim Hewitt, who, um, it's from 1644 and it's, it's it's definitely the oldest one in here but it's also the mm -hmm. oldest one surviving one in connecticut oh, that wow. is legible i don't know who made it's up that legible. Whole title, but, yeah yeah but it's there's another uh angle but where's his it. name oh wait ephraim oh the hewitt, hewitt. is spelled is that h b i t yeah but it's h u i t is is and um, and h e uh H H E U W I T also. Uh, I've only seen it H U I T Hewitt. Yeah, um, and in Rensselaer, New York. Well, they come out of Stonington, the Hewitt family. H I want to say H E W I T T. Um, yeah. I know. Is there is there another is there story on the know where people come from? <laughs> she she yeah. always knows. Well, and, and again, it's the name, the Hewitt, yeah. and, and yeah. my ward, my yeah. third great grandfather. They're oh, born gotcha. in the same <laughs> town, but they fought Revolutionary War. Gotcha. And they, gotcha. after the war, went to New York. Yeah. But the Hewitt, we have the Hewitt, um, the middle name of one of the great grandfather's sons is Hewitt. Which okay. Is well, maybe you're connected funny. to this guy somehow. Yeah. Yeah. That would be yeah. that would be amazing, Shelley. If you yeah. turned well, out. And then we're person. talking about Connecticut too. And again, uh -huh. I don't know any cemeteries where my I know where they are at, uh -huh. but I don't know any cemeteries up there to find to see if there's graves. Well, there and, may be right here. Just we just, <laughs> Jenny yeah. may just found it for you. <laughs> so. Well, no, it's not. Well, that's in Windsor no, and no. I looked and it's an hour away from Stonington. Uh, they're, mm -hmm. they're all in, in New London yeah. County. Right, and, right. Down that's down beautiful, coast. Jenny. These are really yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, there's quite a few of these kind of vaults kind of. I love vaults. these. And, yeah. And, um, in this cemetery and that was very indicative uh, apparently in that time period that time and if you were a person mm -hmm. of prestige and he was yes. a minister uh, reverends were very well yeah. um you know and this is just yeah, some wow, others of us that. standing around oh. and um uh watching him uh i think we were he, we were, he was talking uh giving us some history of some uh -huh. of these stones and that this is about the only one i have of him doing he, this is the only one i really have of him starting to do some restoration work uh -huh. he was just um this this top piece uh, you can see the sticks that are underneath it um yeah. that had toppled over and so he was he was just showing the process of uh -huh. it and leveling it and um you know filling filling it around so that it stays level and things like that so yeah. um just just more of everybody i mean we we're just so, enthralled yeah. with everything you had to oh, say of course and yeah so yeah. knowledgeable um and uh just so many uh there's just a few more yeah I think, I think that's do you it. have any before and after of any of the stones i don't because that's i know okay. i knew you're gonna i just somebody was gonna ask me thanks laura <laughs> no i don't <laughs> um, that's, that's just fine yeah but uh 
but yeah, and then just uh, some There's more. one of those old fences right there. Yes, yes, <laughs> back, yeah, back there. Yep, what a great yep. project, though. Yeah, yeah. No, it really was. Great... He was. And here he our is. Our DAR chapter to... does it too. I love yeah. all the hats on the ground there. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So he was showing a demonstration of how to clean there. That's him again. And this was just, oh. um, um, I didn't actually see this. Somebody gave me this photo mm -hmm. of, there happened to be the, the guy there in the in the dark t-shirt is actually um, a carver, uh, a gravestone carver. And he was mm -hmm. doing a demonstration. I'm really sorry I missed that yeah. um, of uh, what he does. He had all his tools there and wow. um, and all the intricate work. So um, and, and I love that they, they still do that by hand because you think in this day and age, they do some kind of technology for the stones and maybe some places do i mean especially when you've right. got the plaques i'm sure that they use some kind of technology for those plaques but that's right. it's really cool to think of somebody today carving hand carving yeah a, a headstone i mean it's art this is not from uh from i just found these and i just figured they were good in, you yeah. know, indications of what they did i think that's it but that's um, really great it was really it was great and uh, you know so many you know organizations could could work together in their community on this sure you know, your historical society exactly all work you know, together yes you no know, yeah. it's, it's just it was really really interesting and like laura said um these are a, a lot of the founders of windsor are buried here a lot of mm -hmm. street names so you yeah. can say oh my gosh you know that's so and so and uh, my gosh yeah. uh, that's still a family that lives you know the family yeah. descendants still live in windsor and right. so that that just makes it really special too if yeah. you're, you know yeah so. and then every time you drive by that cemetery you're gonna think oh i helped clean that anybody that yeah. did you know has a yeah, stake exactly. in that cemetery yeah. now because exactly. they want to make sure it stays clean and and yeah you know go for walks in it and look around and see their handiwork and see what else maybe they can do later to fix things that they didn't get. You're encouraging me to go look up these head, go look up the <laughs> cemetery. <laughs> you know, I, I love doing the walking through, yeah. you know, yeah. and looking at the headstones and reading what people mm -hmm. have on there. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, and if you go to an old cemetery, a lot of them are from times when people they didn't have we didn't have tons of public parks right yeah so you people used to that, a picnic. yeah and picnic, um yeah. but i have to say the cemetery in south carolina when my where my parents are there is something very community like in in mm -hmm. the cemetery in that there's it's no nothing is homogenous like yeah. every stone had a different carver and a yeah, different yeah. family plots and yeah. there's new mixed with old. Yeah. And I like to go visit some of my dad, mom and dad's neighbors. And then <laughs> one of one of my dad's golfing buddies is, it isn't really not too far away at all. Like maybe 35 feet or something. Uh -huh. And there's big magnolia trees. Oh, and, yes. Yeah. You know, and you just people like, riding their bikes through walking yep. their dogs through it's a oh, nice having conversation yeah. did i tell yeah. you but speaking of dogs have, and and i think i've told you guys Wait, mine fell asleep story. otherwise she would have perked up sorry yeah <laughs> yeah I, I gotta tell you my dog story i know i've told you before so just put up with me because i think it's really funny so this uh, that quaker cemetery that i've got a lot of people buried in so i go there every time i go up to columbia we we just drop by that cemetery because it's on the way but there's signs now that say no dogs allowed. And we joke because my grandparents used to take used to take their dog there every time they went and he just ran all over the cemetery. And so we just laugh and say, that sign is there because of my grandparents. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, they used to catch squirrels because they didn't want to hurt the squirrels at their house. And so they had this little squirrel catcher. And so they'd get the cage and they would take it to the cemetery and let the squirrels go. And so they, they told us once they'd done like a hundred and maybe nine or 10 squirrels. And we would laugh and say, it's the same squirrel. Because they didn't <laughs> car from this there. It just kept coming home and it kept getting caught in the trap. So anyway, back. I know I, I really digress bad on that one, but <laughs> it's just a funny cemetery story. So every time we go in and see that no dogs, we just laugh. Yeah, you know that's I mean? funny. Well, I, I, it's interesting because you can really learn a lot about the makeup of the community, really yes. just looking at the names on the gravestones. Oh, I, yes. um, there's a cemetery in Ohio where my husband's Roddy ancestors mm -hmm. are buried. Mm -hmm. It's an Irish name. You look in that cemetery and it is all 
I, it's a Catholic cemetery, so yeah. sort of not surprising, but you know, <laughs> Sullivan, Gallagher, yeah. Nally, Roddy. Yeah. Yep. There's one grave I, I saw was Popovich. And I'm looking at oh. like, who they could win? <laughs> okay. <laughs> A Polish Catholic, so yeah, there you, know, you go. Yeah, yeah, so he like, married yeah, a Catholic. Everybody else is. Yeah, Irish. he probably was. Yeah, he probably was. Yeah, Catholic. He's Catholic. Married. Married. He married, he married an Irish. And where Irish. I grew up, it's all Italian. Um, oh it's, yeah. yeah it, we're yeah. my my parents are one of the few families in the cemetery. It looks like when I go visit that their name does not end in I. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, but you're so right. And, and everybody's, as you talked about the fact that you can really learn a lot about a community. Yeah. Yeah. I've often thought it would be fun to take a cemetery and, and um, research the names, especially the older names and write a book, maybe a, a count, mm. a story, a cemetery story, you know, oh, who is who's in there? there? Who's in there and what their stories were and how they're connected to other people and that type of thing. I think that would be a really and good And what project. they talk about at night when all the visitors. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is exactly. Same thing we do. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing we do. Yeah. Same thing we she do. keeps coming back and talking to me and I just don't feel like talking to her right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> but one day, but you know, one day I'll help her find me. <laughs> with these projects and now... And I feel now more than any, it's really the best time for, I'm going to say genealogy, oh, yeah. genealogical research. Yeah. And of course, a lot of that has to do with technology mm -hmm. and things and, and these projects. Yeah, I love, yeah, I love the but fact that you can. Part yeah. of the preservation. Yeah. But the social media and stuff, because I found projects on Facebook. Yes. And our DAR chapter does the same, you yeah. know, yeah. partnering, going in cemeteries, and we're also laying for, you know, laying a wreath for graves and all of that. Yes. And I actually, for um, one of the UVA projects I work on, it showed up in my feed, and it was Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and, cool. and it's a project called Soul, S-O-A-L. Okay. I'm not that far from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, yeah. I don't think. But I'm going. You're and going. She's going. There. And it's a voluntary. <laughs> it's a voluntary yeah. group. And they have basically, and it's the community. You know, coming back to what yeah. Jenny said, it was a community project. And I think there's a thousand graves that they know of. Yeah. And these are the sunken ones, the ones yeah. that are broken off. Yeah, Shelly, so that it's a really good um, point because you might be yeah. watching this thinking, I would love to do this, but my genealogy society is not doing it that I know of. My historical society is not doing it that I yeah. know of. Well get on and find a project or create one yourself. Yeah. It's, your it's also coming together with the yes. people you're with. So yeah. it's a great I want to say team effort per yeah. se. Yeah, that exactly. small group coming and take those kids oh yeah exactly small, just create a project kids. if there's not one that you can join or yeah like you said you found that on facebook you can go on to the different and it was facebook one of groups. the people yeah and, and in the obituary because what they did they posted obituary to what one of the heads oh nice oh found. nice yeah. And it was one of the people I'm looking for. Oh, that's and that great. Blew me away and yeah. I thought, okay, another resource. You exactly. Know, yeah. The cemetery so hop on, hop on to those, me. hop onto those Facebook genealogy groups. Yes. And ask, yeah. you know, for the different counties or the state, are there any projects going on? Anybody interested in creating a project on such and such Absolutely. a cemetery? You know, you can you can start one of these yourself. You don't have to wait. Find that church. Yes. yes. What's the difference? Exactly. A graveyard and a cemetery. Mary. There's a difference. <laughs> yep, there's a, a, a graveyard. A graveyard, graveyard. Is, one is associated with the church. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. the graveyard. Yeah. And the cemetery yes. is, yeah. fun fact, yes. there is Great. a- We just gave out a good tip. And there, there are is, many more now in the election. Oh, <laughs> there is a, okay. There is a, um, down in, in Charleston, there's a church and they, they, a road, they actually put a road down the middle of what there was their graveyard. And so I think it's the first Presbyterian. I think that's okay. what it, I think that's what it is, Shelly, because I know you go down there. I think that 
that is the is the church but so the road split it up and so the part by the church is called the graveyard if you look it up and the one on the other <laughs> side the it's there all their property but the other one on the other side because right, of the right. road and our tour guide told us and i know what you're thinking you're thinking this road went over people and he goes and you're right and most Probably of the people, wow. most of the people, the road went over. He said was from um, mass graves from cholera and those kind of where they would just. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't, they didn't know who was buried in there anyways. <laughs> and they just paved over and put the road in. Like, oh my gosh. So yeah, that was it. That was a good trivia question. <laughs> was well, good. It's interesting that you talk about cemeteries and roads. Uh -huh. um, yeah. I don't know if y'all know, but I have headstones dating from the 1830s in my archives. You do because oh, people turn them in, I right? Do. The actual yeah. headstones. Actual headstones. Oh, it's God. for a gentleman named Benjamin Kelly, uh, and he Good died at the age of seventy-seven, which means he was born in the seventeen hundreds. Oh goodness! And the other stone is for his granddaughter who died at six years yeah. old. Do we know why you have them and they're not still in um, uh, on Facebook on our you know everybody's yeah. got those community forums? Yeah. A lady posted uh, this in the end of last year. She said. Uh, we found some headstones in our outbuilding and they had just bought this house. And oh they said, please, somebody please come and get them because it's bad juju to have headstones on your property. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So of course, I see it and I go, oh, well, I'll go get them oh, and I'll yeah. figure out where they go <laughs> and I'll put them back. Well, I, we go get them and mm -hmm. I start researching to figure out where do these go? Yeah. These headstones are in absolutely almost pristine condition oh wow because they were in a bar 1830s that tells me they've been in storage for a very very yeah, not, long they have not time. been in dirt yeah so um when yeah. another lady in the next county over found out about them she has actually been researching these people trying to find their headstones for over 20 years and she said that her what she's been able to gather is is that when they were building this major highway it's highway 149 uh, um they paved over this particular or probably more than one yeah. cemetery and the one of the workers brought these headstones to a lady's farm that was there and she put them in her storage building or whatever her barn mm -hmm. And then when she died, they went to another gentleman who put him in his barn. So he died. <laughs> but and they then, never got on the grave. They never, no. They never, yeah. And oh so, um, and I, and there's rules and laws about this. Yeah. And I've yeah. talked to our highway commissioner. I said, there's rules and laws about this. He yeah. said, well, she said, he said, it depends on the contractor. If they're behind schedule, they'll just pave right over it and go on and not ask and nobody will say anything. Oh my so gosh. I asked my archivist friends, I said, what should I do with these? Because I can't put them back where yeah. they go. And they said, look, they're safe. People can see them. Just leave yes. them. So I have them on display in my archives. Oh, my gosh. I oh, love that. Awesome. Yeah. And I think that's really cool, though. I think yeah. so, too. There's a couple yeah. of roads that I travel on when I go to different places here in South Carolina where there is, like, maybe six, seven, eight headstones, and they've got a fence around them, and they the road goes past them. So I'm thinking it probably at one time was a family cemetery yeah. there's not very many stones but they built a a fence around it and then they they made the road go around it so so mm -hmm. you know that's better than paving <laughs> over but i guess you're right sometimes yeah. time might you thinking nobody <laughs> nobody's going to care about these people it's been so long right. they don't know us <laughs> so. uh, again a whole bottom line like a whole bottom line mm -hmm. you well, know the whole you know yeah. and you have a cemetery preservation i i attach yeah. that white with memory well you, you know and yes and like i that. think and i think too today it's a stronger and the laws are stronger and people are trying to preserve things yeah. but back back in the day they were like whatever we just want to build this oh, road. those roads aren't coming through a cemetery nowadays no no not nowadays no okay. no that's uh -huh. what I'm saying. Yeah, the yeah, road I'm talking absolutely. about, that road was built in the late 1970s, early 1980s. Yeah. 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 Whoa. So, I would have thought that they now. would care now more they're, then, they're, too. Wow. No. Now it's they're finding hate. cemeteries under freeways. Yes. Yep. In Richmond. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My and goodness. especially if it wasn't, you know, a cemetery of rich, prominent people. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, very much so. Yeah. Very, yeah. very true. But yeah, they, paved, been... they built a highway right over yeah. oh. a cemetery. And here comes the community. Love them. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. -oh. We Wait know a minute. people are there. <laughs> yes. We yes. gotta do something about this. Denny, thank yeah. you. Was there anything else that you wanted to tell us about this? Was there any anybody else have a question for Jenny? This has been so much fun. I love the pictures. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, this has been a great. I would just encourage, hey. Yeah, I would encourage Thanks. people to get out there and get involved good. in a project yeah. like this. Yeah. And if you can't do time and and all of that, donate. Yeah, what exactly. Yeah, sure. They'll donate take money to buy can. that. What is it called? D two. Yeah. Yeah. D two. Yeah. yeah. Donate some D two to the cemetery. Yeah. Fifty five or sixty five dollars or something for the container. A big big it's container. Yeah. 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 But it looks like it works. So Jenny, thank yeah. you so much. You're I welcome. appreciate it. And we would love to hear your comments about any cemetery cleanup that you've done and what what you know you're doing, or if this gives you some ideas about a cemetery that you would like to take care of. So we appreciate you watching and we will see you next time on Gen Friends. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.